Hey guys, th thanks for joining us. This is Joshua Peterson Electric. I want to talk to you today about cutting a feeder in. Um, normally a lot of us are used to doing this method real quick with a pair of bulldogs or loppers, whatever you call them. Then you got your Klein knife, which is a lot like a carpet knife, and you split off. Problem is, is that when you get in a hurry, do you see how we've gouged that aluminum? Aluminum is such a soft conductor that over time, it may not break off too easy, but it can break off. So I went out to a trade show earlier this year. This video is December 2017. Just cut that off. That's a it's two odd aluminum up to 150 amp rated for a home. This right here is by Southwire. I typically don't try to promote companies, but normally all you know in my video is it's not client, it's not mine. But Southwire is about to be my next guy too that I really like here because they came up with this theory of how do we strip this, this tool this conductor and I mind you right now guys it is about 65 degrees out in November almost December here in, the, in a couple of days which is fairly abnormal for Colorado but this stuff is soft so I'm not showing you this as it's old feeders in the ground like I had the other night with feeders out and I am definitely showing you this well it's warm and brand new material so it does matter, it does help it out. Keep in mind, guys, that you're gonna want to twist this righty tidy, but then this guy's actually is a little bit opposite you think. It's gonna be lefty loosey to actually tighten that one up. It does take just a little bit more longer, no doubt. But the beauty of this is that you're not trashing into your aluminum. So you can see it's a nice fresh cut. Take your carpet knife. Peel it just the way you did the same. Again, this is off. My gloves are on. I do have a hole in my glove, which is never good. I've got to change them out. But peeled that off. This is dead right here coming in because the power company was here today. Go ahead and take your neutral tape. The code does state you should try to at least have that 2 watt wire showing. It's identification of your conductors, which is probably Article 400. I believe it talks about it. It talks about the company, the date. The, the, amp, the size of the wire and the voltage. Not necessarily ampacity because we know what that is, but this is an XHW-2, so it has a wet rating of number two, TW rating in the 310.15 column uh, in your two watt compact aluminum. You do also have to identify the fact that you have um, uh, the three, three types of tape all the way through. I'll show you that later in the next video once I trim out the inside panel. You do want to put some deox on this. This is not a breaker. Again, if you have a breaker, read your manufacturer's instruction and read your breaker. You guys that are squirting aluminum on your breakers, you sure as hell don't know what you're doing. But when it comes to just simple residential, you're going to want to get that deox on there. And there is a torque specification that we can go through here later. Okay. But for purpose of this video, see how well that that landed without slitting it and it still has all its value of the aluminum compact on there. Aluminum is a very soft conductor material, so you do not want to over tighten and you do want to use deox on lugs and you do also want to make sure you don't strip through. So again, this is a couple hundred dollar tool right here, guys, plus tax. Um, at first, my wife was going to kill me for getting it, but they actually have a small one. And it's really good. It works real well, just the same as if you use it for a number six. Um, but this is awesome for your larger feeders. This will go up to a 350 Casey mill, maybe even a 400. But um, I would suggest buying it, guys. You don't want to cut in your conductor. It does limit you. It depends on how, lo how long that feeder has to land into the lug. Some are bigger than others. Of course, I'm just with some 2 watt today and a very tiny lug right here, about a thumb, so it's about an inch. So just kind of max that out to the bottom. Take care of your tools, put it in a really good bag. I keep it here, no offense Klein, but I keep my self wire in my Klein bag just because in the truck it gets beat up. And uh, remember where it's at, cause it's so hard to remember when you're in the middle of a service change and the colder and the hot and the power's gone down. It's really like, you know, where's this at in the truck? You just want to grab your loppers and twist that off. Again, I do like certain tools and I do like to brag about them. This is a great tool, guys. Don't be cutting into that feeder because over time you're derating the value at 125 amps now instead of 150. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Have a great day.